All right. We got a Lexus IS250. And we're going to be changing the ABS speed sensor today. Hard to broke the lugs loose. So pretty much we're spinning these out. And um, show you guys how to get to the speed sensor, how to take it off. I know how to take it off one way, but I'm going to see if I can get it off a different way today. And um, we're going to get this thing done so we can get that um, ABS light off along with the, um, I think it's the traction light over on the right side of the speedometer at the bottom. And I believe you got the blinking AFS light. I believe so. So, yes, yeah, three lights that's on. I put it up to the um, my scanner, and it said front ABS sensor fault. So, I'm gonna change this thing out. On this is a 07 IS250. This is not the all-wheel drive model. It's just a regular model. All right, drop this down, move this tire out the way, set this tire over here, and um, let me spin this uh, wheel so I can show you guys exactly where this is located. Oh, by the way, let me show you what it, what it looks like. So you got a general idea of what this is. And uh, pretty much, this is what we're working with. This is your ABS sensor right here. That's what it looks like in the inside. This is brand new. I got this off of, uh, I ordered this off of eBay. I believe it was, I believe it was $14.99. But they also sell it, and I started to get this this one with it in the Baron, so it's attached in the in the in the Baron, so you could just replace the whole Baron, and it comes with the um, with the ABS sensor already in it. You know, so I was looking at it like, well, okay, maybe you know I could just replace the Baron too. I mean, I'm gonna be right there, so I might as well do it. But then I was like, you know what? I just get this, you know. Um, this was um, like I say, it was fourteen ninety nine. Some was eighteen with the Baron, the whole assembly, and like I say, you could, it was, I believe it was thirty nine or some place. Some people had it for thirty four, forty five, you know, depending on where it's coming from. The ones that was coming out of California were the cheapest, but they took the longest to get here. So this took about three days on eBay. I think they have it on Amazon too. It's a little bit more expensive, but all depends on how bad you need it, how bad you want to get the lights off. If it's annoying to you, <laughs> you know, but mine been blinking for a while, so I just decided like, let me go ahead and change this out. And um actually it was intermittent. So it would come on, go off, come back on one day, go off. May stay off for like three weeks, but you know, I guess it finally just went out. It's on now. It's been on for the last month straight. So, this is what we got. We're going to knock this out and get this done. All right. So, let me get back. Uh, let me show them. Actually, let me spin this wheel around, and I'll show you guys where it's located at. All right. One second. Grab the key. Thought I had it in my pocket, but I didn't. And 
I'm gonna see if I can get in here, show you exactly where is it. But anyway, it's gonna be kind of tight to see. Hold on one second. Let me let me try something. Let me take this off of here. Let me bring this back. All right, this will be better. So basically. This is it right here. You got a plug right here. This plug comes out. Um, I don't know if something's supposed to be here to squeeze this and pull it out, but uh, last time I had to use a screwdriver sticking in just, you know, lift that tab right underneath of here and it came out. So basically, what we're gonna have to do here, because like I say, it's tucked behind this in this in this you know in your um I can't think of what to call it right now but spindle but uh you're gonna have to take this bolt that bolt that bolt that bolt out along with the let me go on this side along with removing the brakes you know um the the bolt to hold the caliber on for the brakes Take that off as well and then all of this will come off this will slide off um and when this slides off you can um get to the this will, this will come out with it when it come out and then you just uh pluck it out so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna slide it off well i'm gonna take all the bolts out initially i was trying to see if i can get something behind here like slim and pop this out because that's basically how it comes out it pops out but for the most part i don't think i'm gonna be able to get something back there so i'm gonna have to go the long route all right so let me get this thing loose and so y'all can see exactly what i did all right so i'm gonna use this wrench right here you know this um my buddy right here i got this off of amazon too this is uh this is a, these, it came in a set of two so it goes from a seven millimeter up to uh, 19 millimeter but this one's 14 and then we got the 19 but anyway um this is the model x6 d uh, b04 um, and it's made by that company right here. And I use these all the time. They've been holding up pretty well. It was pretty cheap. I think they might have been about, they might have been like $12 for the set. I mean, I, I mean, it could be a little bit more. I can't remember. I bought them a while back, but I recommend these. These has been, these have been doing very well for me. But anyway. Um, like I say, these two bolts for the um, brake caliber, as you can see right here, and um, pretty much, I say you want to work this off, work your caliber off. I'm gonna just tuck this back here, let that, let that rest up here, and then um, we're gonna. Uh, get these like I say some bolts on the back side like you got your four the holes um, this in place right here this whole setup then you got your two behind here that holds the brake caliber and I'm gonna go ahead and slip this off I don't need to change the brakes the brakes are pretty much pretty decent for what they are I think I recently changed these but anyway uh, we're going to go ahead on and uh, get this thing off back here. It's a little work. And just so you know, the four that's in the back is a uh, um, 17 millimeter for the back four. And the one that's holding the brake caliber is the same too. 
17 millimeter. I mean, not the brake caliber, but the brake um, bracket to hold the brake bracket. So I took the two off on that side. I actually got three off. I had the wheel spent the other way. I got three off. I had to spin it the other way to get the bottom one because the shock was blocking the bottom bolt. So pretty much uh, trying to do all of this on the fly without having to stop, pause, and all that, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to maybe pause again. I don't know. This is um this is gonna be my I think second time second second time doing this job. I didn't film it last time, I did it a while back. So pretty much see. This comes off with that. Put that over here, out the way. And like I say, when you take these uh, four bolts off the back, they hold this right here. And this is what I was saying, that whole piece, uh, if you buy the whole piece, it comes with this. Only thing I believe you gotta put your studs behind this. I ain't, I ain't feel like dealing with all of that. Um, yeah, so pretty much take this off. So you got your one here. And you see they coming out these two here. And this is the first time this one is coming off of this car. I mean, since I've had it. So, and then that. screw this up here. Turn this wheel a little bit to get it out, get that one out. But, um, let me turn this wheel a little bit. Get those two bolts out. And number four, I'm gonna be a little stubborn. That's okay. Put this ratchet on it. do is either put the wheel back on and, and, and rock it or either put my uh, put this behind it and bang it out one one or the other so I'm gonna work on this to get this out of here and then we're gonna take the once you drop this, we can get to the um ABS speed sensor. We good to go then. So this is the last step right here to get this off, and then you can take your sensor out. And I'll show you all that in a minute. But I'm gonna see if I can do this without taking up so much time with you guys on on the um watching this to 
straight through or I might have to pause and come back after I beat it up for a little bit. All right, so let me see. Magic man, put this wheel back on and get this out of there. Cause it's been up here a long time. When you've been stuck somewhere a long time, you don't just come on easy. Well, hey, what do you know? Voila! Hey, I'm, I'm out here with slides on so working. This thing gonna fell on my foot. I've been looking crazy. But, like I said, if you buy, this is what you can buy complete, and it comes with the sensor in the back. So eBay was like 40 some dollars, but it don't come with the, the studs. So you gotta put them in, you gotta buy a new studs. So, hey, I don't feel like doing all that. And when you put this in, remember, when you put this back in, you want the sensor part at the small end. Let me show you. You see how wide the bottom is and how narrow the top is? So you want to make sure that the, uh, the sensor is between the skinny part and the, the wide part doesn't have the sensor between. I mean, with a plug part. All right, so... I'm going to work on getting this thing out. And if somebody wants the OEM of this unit, I'm going to put that up there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't tell. But anyway, you can see those numbers. That's the OEM part number right there. If you don't want to get it out the market. All right. So, to get this out, basically, you got to, uh, let me move this camera down some so you guys can see what I'm about to do. Let me move it over so, anyway, you got to pry in between here. So, you got to get between the sensor. And you gotta work it out. It's gonna be some work. But I don't know how long it's gonna take me. But this is what you gotta do. So try to do this. some progress. See if you battle one with the sensor in it, you don't gotta go through this. But I went the other route. I wanted to go through this. I didn't want to go through this though. Well, I guess you could buy you'll just buy some new um studs. But anyway. Get this thing out. I'm gonna go all the way around and chisel it. I eventually get it. It's tight. You 
working. We working. Oh man. Broke my little cheap screwdriver. All right, so let me go get my other screwdrivers. And uh, oh, maybe oh, let me try this. Yeah, let me go get my other screwdrivers. And uh, let me get this out, and uh, I'll show you guys what I did. All right. All right. So I got it off, and basically, what I did. So you can see. I'll put this to the side. But anyway, what I had to do was I just took a I took a screwdriver and let's see how I, I went diagonal and I beat it, beat it, beat it round, and then eventually, once it started doing that, I just took the screwdriver and I twisted it and it popped out. So basically, that's how that went. This is what it looks like. So I'm assuming when when this this is spinning, um, when the wheel is moving, it's some type of magnetic thing for the inside of here. And uh, this is the new one. So like I said, you would put the skinny part and with the the, the 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 part where the you plug it in that goes between the skinny part, not the wide part. And um, basically that's it. I mean, put everything back in reverse order. I recommend you getting a good screwdriver or something sturdy because hey man, I mean I know these ain't for that, but I broke this thing like two times. Um going around but let's get you a good quality screwdriver this is a small one but this is too too thick and it's got an angle on it you need something straight and this is my ham I use my husky it's my baby right here let me pet her she's been through a lot but she she comes through when I need her she definitely comes through when I need her but um yeah, so, like I say, this is what we got. As you can see the plug back here. And that's it, man. Hey, appreciate you guys for checking me out. And um, in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to put this back together. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't need to see me do that. As you saw me take it off, just do it in reverse order. And please subscribe to the channel. I would definitely appreciate that. And give me a like thumbs up. All right, catch you guys on the next one.